Hey guys, RC here, back with episode two, Music Wars Empire. So episode one, we signed a new band. We named it Iron Maiden, and today the album is done. So during the recording process or during that interlude where they are writing songs in the studio, uh, you'll get several emails. Uh, we get emails from uh, independent songwriters that say, hey, I've got this song I'd like you to record. Uh, pay me this much plus royalties. Some are $5,000, some are $100,000. And, you know, but no guarantee of what or no, no upfront notification of what kind of quality it's going to be. Granted, you should assume that the $100,000 song is going to be better quality than a $5,000 song. But also keep in mind that that's royalties you're giving away. Um, doesn't mean you shouldn't do it, but, you know, it depends on what the quality of your songwriters are. The other thing, we got an email that said that basically they were spending too much money, they ran out of money, and they needed X number of dollars to continue the process. In this case, it was $33,000, and uh, you have the choice at that point to either terminate the contract with the band and let them go, in which case you don't have anything to go forward with, uh, you know, or you give them the money and let them finish out. So uh, I was doing some, some searching. Uh, so basically I want to release a single. Um, but what I want to do is I want to do these by quality. I wish I, uh, I can't sort it. Filter by, no, no. All right, so you can see we have this quality, and I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a that's if it's a single. So this these are unreleased that you could put on an album, and these are your qualities. We can rename these next. So what we're gonna do is, on my other monitor, I've pulled up the wiki page for Iron Maiden, and I've pulled up their first album, Iron Maiden. And we are going to look at the songs. So the first song we have is called Prowler. So base, and it's an eight song album. So basically we want 67, 62, no, 66, 66, 70. But no, this is if we're gonna do an album. So this is what I wanna do. I wanna find the highest, Second, maybe the second highest rated one, 67, 70, 70, 67, 68. So let's go with that. We're going to release this as a single, okay? And on the back side of that, so we want our 70, our two 70s will be our next singles. And then we have three 67s. So that's three singles, three backing tracks, and then we need two more. So we'll be all right. So that way we're going to scrap the rest of these songs. We may have some that we can keep as B-sides for maybe a B-side release or, you know, a previously unreleased track that pops up on an album. Uh, so we're going to go with that with a backup of... that and we're going to hit continue right there all right so this is where no we cannot rename it here i want that one to be the start the a side so that is going to be that uh we're going to continue all right, we are not going to release this on physical, so we're not going to print physical copies. We're just going to digitally release it. And let's see, one of the tips said release them worldwide. So I can't select that. Um, All right, well, we'll go with that. And let's release this on August 6th. 
So you can see we're already into August from January when we signed, when we started. All right, continue. All right, uh, we're going to do none. We're going to do word of mouth, which is nothing. Confirm. All right, and these are our emails. Uh, so they gave the perfect way to hold themselves during an interview and a perfect response. All right, let's go back into the band. Let's look at our activities. They have a 99.5% morale. So let's do, let's see. All right, so we want to do, all right, there's our first single. And that's all we're gonna do is singles. So what we wanna do is I wanna book the band for practice. Uh, let's go in here. Again, practicing helps them get better. Okay, close that. I may have missed the spot to change the name of the song, or maybe I can only do that on the album. Oh, you can see our reputations also dropped to a C minus because we're mi we're missing these goals again. I think that is ridiculous. Uh, let's see where we are at here, August. So the album should come out, or the single should come out soon. Right, let's check our band activity. The sixth, so it just came out. All right, so let's check. Let's book media. Again, it's only Gossip Girls, so we're gonna go latest single. We're gonna go here. And then we're gonna go here. Those don't cost us anything. So we, the thing is we're trying to just really limit money, right? That's the, that's the thing. All right, now I want to close that and let's look at songs. Discography, there we go. Yeah, I did, I did miss the ability to rename it. Or you can only do it on an album. I'm not sure which. We'll, we'll try that again on the next. But these will be like maybe their, their you know, e, their early EP, their, their first efforts before they actually wrote a song. Um, but yeah, I want to, let's see. Discography. All right, so it has released, it's, but it hasn't charted yet. Nothing has sold, which is not unusual, right? Not unusual at all. So don't lose sleep over that. We're going to let this go a couple of weeks. And what we want to do is start checking to see what their popularity does. So this will be our third week post-release of the single. So let's get right. there. Let's go look at our band here, profile, discography. All right, we'll double click on that. All right, the critic rating gave it a B minus. Fans gave it a C plus and We released it physically and di or digitally because we didn't print any copies. We have made five thousand nine hundred and thirty-four dollars in revenue. Okay, so we have seven hundred and twenty-six downloads in the U.S., sixty-five thousand digital streams worldwide, fifteen thousand in the last week. Okay. And 
let's see uh, profile where is the skills contract shows profile I'm looking to see oh popularity here we go so there's still an F in the US that's fine all right what we want to do then is let's come in and we're gonna do a new release the songs that we've already recorded are gone All right, that is not letting me change it here. All right, so we wanted a 70% with a 67%. There it is, right there. All right, so this will be Phantom of the Opera. Love Me Rougher. It's a good rock song, rock title. And this will be Prowler. Let's go with Prowler. Continue. All right, we're going to go ahead and release that on September 10th. Uh, no manufacturing. Word of mouth. And that will be Phantom of the Opera. That'll come out on the 10th. All right, so close that. So the whole goal here is we're limiting expenditures, right? We're trying to get popularity up to where they can start generating some interest. All right, so Iron Maiden is hilarious. Read their interview on Gossip Girls. Eloquent and intelligent, not the words I thought I would use to describe Iron Maiden on trend. All right, so let's see, September. What are you eating? Piper, get out of there. Ugh. All right, so another fail, so we're down to a D minus. That happens. All right, we've got to get them above 50% popularity. Again, that's not going to happen. All right, let's look at uh, profile, discography. Phantom of the Opera. This is if they've charted. All right. Uh, so our best-selling single is Rock Me, the first one, 964. Phantom of the Opera has not released yet. Okay, so it's still coming out. And Activities, the 10th. So it just came out. So it needs a full week on the charts to register. That's right. Forgot about that. So your first week should be your biggest week of all time. All right, we failed again. That happens, not worried about it. Uh, all right, profile, discography, Phantom of the Opera, and record sales. So 57 downloads in the US, 33,817 streams worldwide digitally, one week on the chart, um, critical reception, good but nothing special, a brilliant record, um, B minus across the board, critics general rating a B, so the songwriting is, has really helped put them on top, so that's good. All right, let's go another two weeks. And then we will... Take a look at sales at that point. What you want to kind of look for is when they start tailing off, that's when you want to pop the, the third one out there. Um, what I would like them to do, let's see. So bands, profile, discography, Phantom of the Opera, record sales, so 199, 73 last week, 65,000, almost 13,000 last week. Let's look at uh, 
profile popularity still an F okay that happens so what I want to do now is I want to do a couple of things hey cat all right I want to do a new release we're going to take the other 70% and another 67%. We're going to do these as singles. The 70% is going to be the title track for the album. And this will be Remember Tomorrow. All right, continue, continue. We'll release that. Let's release that a week later. Uh, no copies. Still don't want any. No physical copies. Word of mouth. All right, now we also want to work on a new album. So we want to go in here. All right, songwriters, band members, all right. A, everybody except for Darren Perez, because he sucks. All right, uh, producers. All right, pop punk. Alternative rock, no good production there. Metal. Let's go ahead and up the car. Eh. You know, no, we're not going to do that. Pop punk. Art rock. Let's go ahead and go with him again. Uh, artist choice. Themes. Controversy. Mainstream. No. Random. No. On the road. No. I'm looking for something with, uh, well, you know what, we're going to go with none. And recording studio, we're going to go back to English House, select it, and we're going to finalize. Let's go, uh, let's go artist control this time. It's going to cost us about a half a million dollars. And let's do standard. Let's try to keep them on a tighter schedule this time. Uh, the working title. So this would be what I think their debut album would be. So this would be Iron Maiden. Finalize. So they are recording. Again, checking, you, you know, I did check the morale. And, oh, let's see, activities. So they will be back out of the recording studio around the beginning of January. So let's see what our time looks like here. All right. I'm going to put a cut in right here. Not a cut for the video, but just going to put a break. We'll be back when the album is done. I'll have already named the tracks and everything, and we'll go over the album and uh, then go into some stuff, booking tours and whatnot. So I'll see you guys back here in just a second. Okay, I wanted to come back for this just so you could check it out. So this is the end of the year. We have our best-selling singles chart, uh, Children of Noah, released any night. 40 weeks on the chart, two and a half million copies sold. Uh, so that is what's going on there. Uh, taking a look at our band, uh, profile discography. So uh, just taking a quick look. So record sales for the first album or the first single, uh, still selling 25 a week. 2300 digital streams we're up to 130 digital streams for that single 1400 overall in the u.s uh, then phantom of the opera 2208 
and 111,000 digital streams. And the latest Iron Maiden is uh, 348 uh, downloads in the States with 103 thousand digital streams so they're all still selling the band's currently in the studio if we take a look they are recording so uh we got uh they're gonna need another two weeks in the studio that's another type of email you can get so again we will be back uh when the album is ready so see you guys back here in a second all right we are back the album is done let me downsize that i suppose all right, so we want to now release a studio album. And this is going to be called Iron Maiden. And I need to pull up the Wikipedia again. So you notice that we have 22 songs. So we have the 15 from the first one. And only 8 from the second one. Oh, and... Uh, da, 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 da. let's see are the singles still on it yeah rock me phantom of the opera they're all still there all right so this is going to be a studio album. that's why those are showing back up that's scary that they only wrote seven songs for this for an album um minimum of eight which is what the what the, the first iron maiden album had all right so we are going to kind of pick through here 70 70 all right so we're gonna go with prowler didn't we didn't we rename that one thought we did let's see iron maiden Uh, yeah. Okay. For some reason, those B sides are not showing up. All those 67s, that sucks. Okay. Well, memo to self if you do a B side, Make it one of your shit songs, not one of your best ones. All right, so we want 70, 70, and that's Phantom of the Opera and Iron Maiden. Um, all right, so we're going to have to redo, all right, a 68, 68. 69 that's what five one two three four just four five 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 okay 68 another 68 right there i wish i wish i could sort that by Oh, okay. There we are. There we are. All. Oh. Is there some more there? Exp oh, no. No. Shit. Sorry. That just, that selects all of them for, to put all of them on the album. And there's no way to deselect it. That's fine. Hey, beat it. Mike, they're writing for Michael Jackson, too. All right. So let's try this again. Iron Maiden. Phantom of the Opera. All right, then a, that's two. All right, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight all right the record title is iron maiden all right we are going to continue all right so now this is where you put them in order 
So Iron Maiden was the last song on the album. Uh, Phantom of the Opera was the fourth song on the album. All right, so now you can kind of pick and choose. So I usually like to have you start off with a killer song. This is going to be Prowler. And then we'll go with, uh, well, why wouldn't you let me? I'm going to spell it wrong, Prowler, just to where it takes. All right. And then we have, we'll go with that one. And we'll, we'll leave this one as maybe tomorrow. On the album, it was Remember Tomorrow, but it won't let me rename that. Um, we'll go with Running Free here. And then we want Phantom of the Opera at number four. And then we have Transylvania. Let's move this one up. Transylvania, which on the actual album was an instrumental. This one will be called Strange World. And this one is Charlotte the Harlot. There we go. All right. And then we have Iron Maiden closing it out. So continue. All right. Uh, yes, we want to release that in... Couple, uh, we're on January 11th, so two weeks. Uh, let's see, we're going to release that physical and digital. Let's order, yeah, 2,000 units I think is fine. That's going to cost us $5,500. We can always print more if it sells. Uh, let's see, we're going to rely on word of mouth still. Because uh, local appearances cost us a million dollars. All right, we're going to confirm that. All right, and what I also want to do is activities, media. So Gossip Girls, again, we can do the latest album. That'll go here. And then Trends, latest album can go here let's go back all right they're at 99 and a half so we want to create a set list so we certainly want Iron Maiden maybe tomorrow which is remember tomorrow uh, running free, Phantom of the Opera. Oh, there's Remember Tomorrow. So we'll put that one. Well, we don't want to duplicate it, right? Maybe Tomorrow's the one on the album. Charlotte the Harlot. Prowler. What else are we missing? Running uh, Transylvania. Strange World, right there. And then we can put in, so down. These will just be some additional, these will be like B-sides. So 67, 66. And they don't have to have a ton of songs because they're, they're going to be playing um, Tour 1. All right, we'll confirm that. And then we want to book. We only want to tour the U.S. Small and tiny venues. So we want to book a tour. Uh, let's see, this is Iron Maiden 2019 U.S. tour. Just the U.S. playing set list. Um, what kind of production do we want to spend? Mm. 
if we do basic, I think we're going to do below basic, just below basic. Uh, average ticket price, let's go with uh, five bucks. Uh, we want to do a short tour, tiny. Uh, and we will start that on the 31st. Uh, let's do 12 dates. I don't want to auto book. So let's, uh, no other bands want to open for us. So less than 500 seats. Okay, let's start there. Go here. Uh, let's go skip a night. We'll go Sunday. Old Town Lounge. We'll go. Let's go to Wednesday. This is where your morale starts to drop, right? So then we're going to go up to Saturday. Actually, let's do Friday and Saturday. We'll take off until uh, Wednesday, Friday. Saturday. Back to Club V on this Wednesday. The Cottonwood Club on Friday. 400 is going to be a little optimistic. Saturday. We'll play a third night with a small... The Fort Smith Lounge. I'm going to try to stay in these 200s. You know, I wanted to sell out and start, you know, being get, getting a name, right? And let's go ahead and do that. And that'll be good. So we're going to play, you know, a handful of dates. We'll finalize that. So let's uh, tell you what, let's call that an episode. We are on January 11th. The album will come out on the 21st. So let me get to the album release date and then we'll start hitting the tour and we can kind of go through the tour and then uh, we can go from there. So guys, pound the like button, subscribe if you're new. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know what you think in the comments. And we will see you next episode. Take care. Bye.